Take it away. Good evening, everybody. And Dawn and uh, Vic, I'm so glad you're on because okay. I was thinking we they're not on. Not yet. All right, then not we shall just... Okay, then John, our leader, the guy who's always switched on. John, take it away. Mind enhance it, please. Hi. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's lovely to see you all. I read through Mind Enhancement again, and I was amazed uh, that the herbal uh, concoction which they've put together, uh, it, it actually stimulates the capillary um, uh, flow of blood to the brain. So it's taking vital nutrients there, and what they worked out is that it's going to keep you younger longer because if you your brain is fed with the vital nutrients, you're going to understand more, you're going to be more responsive. And they've seen that it actually, uh, your response is much quicker when you take mind enhancement. I know that um, after I had my stroke, uh, that was one of the key issues that I had to take in order that I could start thinking again. Uh, it, Although Debbie said it didn't help much, but now if you if you look at um, uh, even children when they got ADD, I believe they've actually put a, a, one of those tablets in their books to make their attention more uh, focused at school. Um, but uh, we've got someone up, uh, one of our uh, downline customers. Uh, they swear by this, and after he had his stroke. Um, he will take one in the morning and one at night. And he's been doing that now for four four years now. So, uh, and when you look at him, before he couldn't even get out of bed and walk to the door. So he's playing golf on a Wednesday and uh, it's just a, a lifestyle. So uh, I challenge everyone to look at this product, especially if you start building up grandchildren around about eight, nine, you're going to start having to remember their names because their mothers get a little bit irritated when you keep forgetting and calling uh, Riley, Eric, uh, uh, Alec, and uh, <laughs> whatever the names are. So it's a wonderful product. Uh, and I think that if you start, uh, when you start taking it, you'll actually find that your mind becomes more crispier it really is for your attention. And uh, I would just say that everyone should not be without us. Thank you, Jenny. John, I knew you'd enlighten us and well done. So now I'm also taking it. And Gabriella, I remember Gabriella because she's a point chair, cushion. I said, um, um, I call her Gabriella now. <laughs> uh, Vic and Dawn, are you here yet? Yes. Yes. Vic and Dawn, you always teach us so much, and we run out of time so quickly, so rent a mouth here, we'll keep quiet. Over to you, Vic and Dawn, one of you at a time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be resurfacing customers, and this is how we do it. I'm just going to read it off here. To build repeat sales, we must remember that our customers are assets in our business. We need to build relationships with them. We must respect them. People are buying us, and so our interaction with our customers is very important. We're not just selling to make money out of them, <clears throat> but we want to make them happy and healthy and to end the trend of their chronic disease if they are not well and to keep them well. That is indeed a, a big satisfaction for us. I keep a record of when my customers order products and when I should contact them for a top up, not just to get an order, but to have a chat and find out how the products have helped them. When I deliver products, I put a different pamphlet or brochure in the packet to what they are using. I phone them in a day or two's time to see if they'd like to try that product. And then I ask them if we can come and do a gem with them when they've decided. If I put the new skincare range brochure in the packet, I phone and ask them if I can come and do a hand dem. I compliment them on how good their skin looks 
and tell them that this will keep their skin soft and supple. I like to give a testimony on how certain products have helped me or a friend. A customer told me of her daughter who was not coping too well. She was very pale and listless. She'd wake up in the morning for school, then go straight back to bed. <laughs> it turned out um, my friend had a similar problem. I put her on chelated iron, multi-mineral, and the shake. My friend recovered, and so my customer put her daughter on the same program, and she's doing very well and not at all tired on waking up. When customers order the shake, I tell them what is not in the shake, like sugar, preservatives, artificial flavors, and colors, and, and this sold them. Also, that ours is the only shake with all 22 amino acids, so it's, it's a complete product, and it's a, it's a food, good, complete a meal. I also push the cleaning products and tell them people are cleaning themselves to death with toxic broke products. I give them a sample of a G1 laundry with a small scoop, and I also give them the price comparison, and I explain it to them and get a big wow from them. I follow up with them once they've been using the range, and they can't believe the difference this makes and how they're saving money. And I explain how the LDC and care are the best to keep hands clean and to kill the coronavirus that was around then. If they are new customers, I suggest they do a detox as well. If they can't afford that, I suggest a tree and end with the order. If they are gardeners or they have a gardener, I suggest a super grow and I give them the, the super grow DVD to watch. I also show them how to make a rose cocktail with our products. I send them Zoom links to any of the talks on our products and this has been very successful. If they stop ordering, and I know they should stay on the product, I suggest they become distributors with the aim of getting that product at a discount. And then who knows? Down the line, they may start building themselves a business. And this is indeed has happened to us. Um, and then increasing our customer base is the lifeblood of our business. But keeping them is the heart of our business. And I like this saying, Keep dating your customers. And then the last thing is um, reactivate past customers. We've had we've done this when customers have just disappeared and we haven't um, phoned us or we haven't contacted them for quite a while. And then when we do this, we they have been excited about the new range that have come in, and quite a few oldies are now customers all over again. So that's me, and Vic has a few things to say as well. Well done, Dawn. Hello, everyone. Yeah, not, not much really. Just uh, to add to that, what often helps a lot is, uh, if you all recall, the ship that sank down in Cape and the resulting penguins that got so oiled up and all the seabirds got so oiled up, and then it was our, our dishwasher that washed them, LDC. So I often relate that story to, to customers to sort of convince them that LDC is a brilliant product. And it's truly, if, if people were not aware of it, it was like 20,000 liters of LDC donated by, by distributors and by customers. And that was 20,000 penguins. And those penguins were back in the water in three days. And uh, the first breeding season came around and they all bred normally. So they went damaged. So that story often helps to get people to look at that, the, at that particular product. The, the other thing that, I, that uh, I have tried in the past and seemed to work quite well was our online university. I will send that link to people for the online university and tell them on a particular product, possibly if it's about bone health or about heart health, which everyone it is, if they come back to me with a certificate to say that they listened to it, watched it and answered the questions afterwards, I'll give them 5% discount on the products. So that way you may lose a little bit of cash, but you gain a couple of points. So really that's all I wanted to add to, to, add to it. And that's all I say, when you out in public, listen. <laughs> listen to people. There's so many complaints out there. And of course now the great thing is monkeypox or mpox, not only say monkeypox, mpox. 
So uh, we're going to have to get up for that one of these days. And I'm pretty sure our products will do a good job of solving what is effectively a byproduct of the COVID vaccines. Okay, thanks folks, that's me. Thank you, Victor and Dawn. As always, I knew you'd be excellent and we always learn from you. Mandy is going to tell us about garlic and Mandy's always so calm, cool, collected and so professional. Thank you, Mandy. We are listening. Thank All you, All about Jim. garlic. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Garlic allium complex. A garlic allium complex is made up of the allium vegetables, which are garlic, onion, chives, leeks, etc. And they have a high um, sulfur constancy. Uh, garlic has been one of the um, allium vegetables that have been used um, for thousands of years in folk medicine, foods, and spices. But not everybody likes garlic because of the aftertaste and the smell afterwards as well. So Neolife has um, developed garlic allium complex, which does the job perfectly. And it saves you having to eat a clove of garlic every day because two tablets provide 4,200 micrograms of active allium in a high yield garlic extracts. Now, another good thing about the um, Neolife's product is they have um, coated the tablets and it ensures a targeted delivery technology, which makes sure that the garlic allium gets into the uh, intestines with the result is you don't have the smell and the taste of the garlic. It also has rosemary, which is a potent antioxidant herb, which helps protect the tablet's contents. So with the result is it's a very effective and convenient way to have garlic to save you having to eat fresh garlic every day. Thank mm. you. That was excellent. Now garlic, did you know that it lowers blood pressure and it aids digestion and it's a natural antibiotic and also it aids asthmatics. And I sound like Louis Smith. He carries on and on and on. So I will stop right there. Louis is very good, by the way. And up next is my downline. I'm so proud to have you as a downline. Ansi, you're going to tell us all about, yes, that's right. Tell us, Ansi, CalMag. Where is Ansi? She must unmute. She, yeah, she's on mute at the moment. Possibly a connection problem. Then go on to well, Norma. Yeah. Norma, please tell you, please can you talk to us about oxygen bleach? Ah, everyone, good evening. <clears throat> nice to see you all. Um, oxygen bleach is another super, super product that is provided by mere love. Um, <clears throat> it's different to the different to the normal bleaches um, that are, are really toxic. And I, I have in the past experienced the use of something like jick. And if you get it on your hands, you can be quite sure that it stinks forever. It's awful, absolutely awful. The other thing with the uh, bleach is that in in most cases you get a stain on your on your blouse or your shirt, and when you use the bleach. It actually damages, in most cases, will damage the actual fibers of the of the thing that you're trying to clean. Um, <clears throat> the difference between the normal bleach and oxygen bleach is that the oxygen bleach actually attacks the 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 problem, the the stain that you've got or the um, mark that you've got on the. It doesn't attack the fiber itself. So it actually 
is not damaging to the actual um, product or the actual fabric that you are, are trying to clean. Um, <clears throat> It's it comes in a in a powder form, which confuses a lot of people. And you must remember that if you're using it, please don't put the powder on the fabric because that can cause a problem and it co can can cause some damage. Um, because it's not supposed to be used like that. You should be diluting it, um, and preferably in warm water or hot water. I've used it actually in boiling water and I found that the boiling water is actually very effective more effective maybe than than just mixing it doesn't mix very well in cold water I found it's actually better if you if you use it in hot water and it really does brighten the, the fabric makes the whites whiter and gives them a um a really it makes it look really nice and clean bright so oops 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 Out of time. <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> i was a bit confused about the sound effects and i thought well i don't know where that's coming from um it's it's really an amazing product and and i find sometimes that a combination of the oxygen bleach and the washing powder, the G1, is really, really effective. If you want the things to really look nice and clean, it makes a huge difference. The other thing that I've used it for is that, you know, sometimes when you have lots of, when you drink a lot of coffee, the teaspoons that you're using sometimes get a stain on them. And the oxygen, a combination of the oxygen bleach and, and the uh, G1, if you use it in hot water and you stir it up beautifully and sh shush it up and mix it well, it will get rid of those stains on the on the teaspoon. So it's not only for the clothes, but also for other things in the kitchen, things that need to be cleaned. And again, it's a versatile product. You can use it for lots of different things. I've contemplated, <laughs> I haven't used it, but I've have contemplated using it to clean teeth and make the teeth whiter because <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be doing, making things brighter and whiter. So, Thanks, um, Norma. Thank you. Well done, Norma. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy your products. Thank Enjoy you. your products. And that oxygen well, bleach is also very good for the toilet stains. And my, my daughter, she couldn't get her techies, whatever, white. She put the oxygen bleach in the washing machine and voila, they look brand new. I see Ansi's back. Ansi, we're waiting in anticipation to hear what you have to say about Calmac. Thank you very much, um, Jenny. Yes, in 1970, Dr. Arthur First, founder of the SABC, not breweries, but the Scientific Advisory Board, <laughs> he started the GNLD research and to undertook the development of dietary supplements, such as the incredible um, shellated calmac. Um, shellated calmac is two to one ratio, two calcium and one magnesium. That is for highly absorption and um, uh, bioavailable. Um, did you know at the age from 45, to 75, I think the majority on this call is about that age range, that women lost, lose much more uh, muscle and strength um, than men. But that's okay. It's never too late to start supplement to strengthen our bones. And it's also good for teeth. It helps with the nerve function and especially um, muscle cramps at night when we sleep. It also provides a restful sleep. I can remember my mom used to get lots of pain um, in her knees and couldn't sleep. That's the days before Carmack. Although then we had the Omega-3. 
And she didn't like the, the Colmac because she said it was difficult to swallow. So I said to him, no, Ma, that's no problem. Let's just dissolve it in a little bit of water. And it worked amazing. And uh, that's how she took hers. So ladies, men, let's just use our Colmac. And even at night, if you can't sleep after a very busy day or your brain don't want to switch off, Take three Carmax and say about 50 mils of aloe vera and you will sleep, not like Sean say, like a baby. I sleep like a baby, I'm dead. But you will have a peaceful sleep. Thank you very much. Well done, Ansi. Well done. Thanks, Thank Ansi. you so much. Now, and now, they've, and now they've added the tea. So it's even better. Yes. Excellent. Now, I've been using CalMag the other day. I did not take my CalMag magnesium and my multi. The cramps I had after my op, uh, I was in agony. So now I will never go to bed ever again without taking my CalMag, my magnesium. And yes, absolutely. Debbie, it's your turn now. Jump up and down. We're all excited. Recognition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Recognition, yeah. You do realize that everybody, month end is on Tuesday. Monday's a holiday and month end is on Tuesday. And looking at the PV, you've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, we're getting there. I'd just love to see the... If you were all racehorses, I don't know who I would bet on because um, Sean, you're really leading the way. Well done, Sean. You're leading the way. Linda V is just, well done, Sean. just behind you. Chasing you. Chasing you. And then there comes Jenny Holiday. She's galloping along and she's going to got her nose on <laughs> and they're getting to the finishing line. So, yeah. Um, the Individually, I think, yeah, it's it's been a tough month for most people, but we're getting there and it's looking good. I can just imagine it always happens at the very last minute. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you, Debbie and Sean. We are waiting for you now. Thank you, Sean. Yes, I get to close off. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah, it's. It's been a good month and the orders are still coming in. So I've still got a couple more to go. We're getting there. <laughs> Bear with me. But yeah, we we need to keep encouraging people. Um, and in the, in the position that I work in during the day, I get to meet an awful lot of people who are going through tough times in more ways than one. They're in pain, they're suffering, they stressed, and this is not just the patients that I'm talking about either. I'm talking about everybody. When you look at people, sometimes the smile is more of a grimace than a smile. So we need to be aware of this and be open to listening to what people's challenges are. We shouldn't just be out selling, 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 selling. And I, I know I make that mistake quite often. Uh, somebody tells me I've got X, Y, Z problem. I say, ah, yes. And immediately the products come to mind and I say, ah, we need to have this, that, 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 that. No. Tell me about your problem. How are you? What's happening? What are you doing about it? Before you offer a solution. And it be a case of, if there was a way that I could assist you, would you be open to hearing about it? Don't push things down people's throats. But my takeaway on this whole lot is my little things that I post on a daily basis. And this morning's one was from Zig Ziglar. Um, I like Zig Ziglar. He's one of my favorite go-to people, him and Jim Rohn. And the, the second part of the little thing I put up this morning on my, on my status was, there are seldom, if ever, any hopeless situations. But there are many people who lost hope in the face of some situations. And 
think of a of a maze. If you in the maze, all you can see is this dead end in front of you. And you know, you turn this way and there's hedge, and you turn that way and there's hedge. And you look behind you and there's hedge. But if you're looking at it from above, the Google Maps version, you can see clearly where the solutions are. So by being a friend and listening to people's challenges, we don't like the word problem, we listen to their challenges. Pretend that you are that little camera in Google Maps. You're looking at their problem from above and you're looking at their challenge with different eyes, not their eyes. All they're seeing is here. Be the friend, offer the hope. Show them that there is hope at the end of the, uh, there is the gold pot at the end of the rainbow. They can't see the end of the rainbow at the moment. They can see the thunderclouds. They can't see the rainbow. We can see the rainbow. Share that with somebody. It makes such a big difference. And just having an empathetic ear, you'll be amazed at the difference it makes. It turns that grimace into a smile nine times out of 10. To be a friend, go out, make a difference. We can do it. Oh, well. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks. Sean. Well done. Thanks. Thanks. That's wonderful. <clears throat> Sean, just on record, I want to share something.